my next guest is an artist, and he's also an adventurist, and both of those things make him a pretty interesting guy. You see that long, skinny strip of land in the distance? That's the Outer Banks. We're going to head over to the beach and cruise up and down the coastline. Oh, wow. There's something about being with somebody who's an expert at what they're doing, and they look at you and they say, trust me. <laughs> Holy smokes! Eric Dowdle of Lehigh, Utah makes puzzles. But before those puzzles are ever in a box, they are ideas and experiences in his brain. And his world travels and the creative process that follows are at the heart of a new show on the Magnolia Network called the Peacemaker. <laughs> We're so of excited to names. have you here. That's a great name. It's the spelling that makes it the Peacemaker because yes. yes. uh, there's my I have a large home or with large children, many children anyhow. Uh, they make noise, so uh, there's not a lot of peace in our home. Okay, okay, so this works. I told him uh, we have many of your puzzles, and I always put them out stealthily. And then what happens is people are just drawn to them. They sit down, and then it turns into a three-hour conversation. You're one of those mothers. Yes. yes. And then they, all of a sudden they start talking and opening up, and then they tell you secrets. That's right. And you're like, I did not know that. But yet you can't act surprised. You just have to act like no big deal, and then later on you can address the issue. But you do, you, before you have this idea, or to get these ideas, you have to experience it and feel it. And what does that do for the creative process? Um, you know, if you go to the city and you eat and do the things that people do that live there or those who visit, and you're gonna have your own uh, stories to tell, and they're usually going to be much like everybody else who's been there, so I feel it, it comes out in the painting, and hopefully when they're putting the puzzle together, they're having the same emotion, the same experience, and they're reliving some great memories. Yes, I always like to point out, and do you remember this, and you remember this, yeah. you know, to my kids. So what has it been like having cameras capture every part of this creative process you go so through? So normal. No, um, <laughs> uh, it, it's one of those things where if the cameras weren't there, it's exactly what I would be doing. I love to talk to people, strangers. I have the right to remain silent, but not the ability. So I will talk to anybody and everybody about their city, about what they're doing, what they're making, and... Uh, usually they'll open right up and they'll tell me some things. If it's on camera, boy, they open up right away and they just want to tell you their life story. And that comes out in the art. Uh, that's been the good thing about having cameras all around yes. us is we're a little bit more used to it. Where can we watch the show? Uh, it's on Magnolia. I, they've been doing it at 6 o'clock on Saturday, but it streams live on Discovery Plus and HBO Max. Oh, wow. So it's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And what else are you doing? What is keeping you busy these days? Oh, did you know that in 2026, America's turning 250? Don't act like it's not on your calendar. <laughs> I did mark it down um, yeah, in my Yeah, I'm reminders. sure you did. Um, we're trying to get America ready for its 250th birthday, so I'm painting cities all over the country. I'm starting right now in Utah. And I'm doing a lot of uh, local cities. I'm doing Harriman this weekend. We're going to have a big unveiling. And you and, just did yeah. Tooele, and it yeah. was like a big celebration. It's been a lot of fun. These towns love the, the whole feel and energy of their city. And we get to celebrate that. And then we talk about America's 250th. Our platform is Freedom Equals Creativity. And boy, when you, when you create, you fix things. And, and that's what we do. And you also created the world's largest puzzle. Yes, yeah. You need to be in it. Okay. We need to have you down there Anytime. and put you into the world's largest puzzle. That's actually what we're doing with people. Uh, when you come to Oakley City, then yeah. I'll be in that one. The thriving metropolis of Oakley. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, the world's largest puzzle. It's, I think it's, 30, it's 20 feet by 60 feet. It's massive. It's a lot of fun. Kids will love looking at it if they come down. We can see it there behind you. It is, and I'll tell you, for people who don't read the little tidbits that yeah. go along with your puzzles are missing out because <laughs> that is a real conversation starter too. Eric, thank you so much for thank bringing you. some joy to my family and to a lot of people out there. Well, thank you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you.